The Edge Accelerating Higher Education is the second season from the EdTech podcast supported by Salesforce.org. I think this is about the best description of digital and digital transformation and the reason why we do these things. It says that applying the culture, practices, processes and technologies of the internet era to respond to people's raised expectations. I think that's relevant to higher education because often we look at other higher education establishments as the bar that we've got to match where our customers are looking at Netflix, at Amazon, at Google and actually comparing us to them. So the bar is probably a lot higher than we think it is. Good afternoon, everybody. In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. And the number of affected countries has tripled. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. This series takes a fresh look at higher education and digital transformation. Reprieve for international students who risked being deported. The Trump administration rescinded a policy that would have forced them to go home if their schools offered classes entirely online. Once you don't have the exam, you don't have the key piece of information that you'd use to make these decisions normally, and you can't magic that information into the air. Um, how are you going to cope with this situation? Well, thanks to the timing, the entire university admission system was almost in turmoil this morning. But our focus is going to be on applicants. We need to put the craziness aside. We speak to leading thinkers and doers in the higher education sector, chatting about campus reopening, student experience, admissions and much more. As I announced last week that the fall semester will begin as scheduled on August 24th with a mix of in-person and remote instruction delivered in four modalities, in-person, flex in-person, live online, and our iCourses. This is still the plan. Let me re-emphasize that. This is still the plan. It's so important to keep our communications going and to keep talking to one another because the world hasn't suddenly ground to a halt and young people's hopes and aspirations haven't stopped. You can follow the conversation using the hashtags EdTechEdge and EdTech Pod. I I don't think there's been a better time to go to university in the last 10, 15 years. Hats off to our students. University is a challenging enough time, but this cohort have also faced an entire new set of challenges. And in the years to come, I genuinely believe that employers will seek out those students of today who will be synonymous with resilience and flexibility and determination. And subscribe by searching for the EdTech Podcast at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you listen in.